Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, we're going to be discussing how to set up Angular support within Mach 3. Now, many of you don't even know what this feature does, uh, and some of you do by accident in terms that you're going to want to set a slave axis, and the slave axis that you're setting is not correlating in movement to what you're expecting, meaning that you're not typically getting linear movement. I've discussed this with previous clients, but I wanted to discuss this in a video because, believe it or not, it's not in Mach 3's user's manual due to uh, a patch being done that actually included this feature. So I'm going to walk you right through it. Again, I'm within Mach 3 right now. This is the default screen. You're going to come over here to Config. We're going to go to General Configuration tab. And now as we come down here, you can see there's right underneath, far left side, Angular Properties, Unchecked for Linear. A axis is angular, B axis is angular, C axis is angular. Just to make sure everyone is aware. Now, on my version of Mach 3, all three of these were checked. Well, if you're running a slave axis, which will typically be an A axis, uh, the slave axis, of course, being typically for the Y axis on your machine where you'll be running two motors in tandem in order to uh, articulate movement without racking of your gantry, you will want to make sure that this is unchecked for your A axis or whichever axis here is present that you have assigned for your slave axis. Now, if you're using a G540 from Gecko, Typically, once again, your A axis will be your slave axis. Therefore, you would want to, once again, make sure that this is unchecked, once again, for linear. And linear just simply means an axis going straight forward and straight backwards in a parallel line. Angular is where we'd be moving in a circular pattern for whichever axis is assigned. And as many of you already know, that would be if you're doing a rotary axis for your A axis, your B axis, or your C axis. So therefore, if you're running a rotary axis and you're trying to do axis calibration and you're finding your measurements are off, this is where these angular axis points would come in. Um, other than that, for the guys out there who are trying to do linear axis movements, once again, with a, an A axis, a B axis, or a C axis, you would once again want to make sure that you're looking at it being unchecked because we want linear motion, which again is just simply in a straight line back and forth. You're not doing anything in a rotary configuration. You're not doing anything in a circular pattern. So again, I hope that this video has been helpful. I'm getting a lot of different questions with weird things like this popping up and anything I can do to assist with this. Uh, I'm going to be doing more videos in the future. I think it'll help many out there. Uh, thank you all for your support.